Thank you very much, Aidan, and good afternoon. It's a great pleasure to address you today, and my sincere thanks and appreciation to Brett, our board chair, and Enver, our CEO, for their unwavering support. We all know that tourism is very close to my heart because of its massive potential to support and create jobs and build a thriving economy. And so today I will focus on three things, responsible and community-based tourism, cruise and aviation as modes of transport, and the strategic intent behind our six pillar strategy. We are here because we know that the tourism industry makes the world go round, but now the world has been turned upside down by the COVID-19 pandemic. And so at the beginning of this pandemic, I established the tourism task team to deal with the effects of the lockdown measures, to develop our bounce back strategy and to provide input on my bespoke submissions to national government, motivating for the reopening of business and leisure travel to get businesses back to work. So together with my department and Cape Town Tourism as our official destination marketing organization, we will continue to lobby for the full reopening of travel so that we can get on with the business of tourism because the visitors economy is everyone's business. So for me, the three pillars of responsible tourism you see behind me translate into responsible pricing, responsible places, and responsible practices. Because if we can get these things right, we can diversify tourism products, boost cultural experiences and community involvement, and therefore drive demand, which will lead to jobs and social upliftment. Cape Town's vast cultural diversity is something to be proud of and it must be celebrated. Community-based tourism gives us an opportunity to do this, and it sets us apart from any other destination and city in South Africa and globally. The Kailicha curated routes is a good example of what we can achieve through collaboration. Now, to get this exciting product up and running, we partnered with tourism operators in the area, taking our knowledge of what is expected by international visitors and assisting operators to craft a tourism product that showcases their community in a manner that is authentic. So my plan is to push community-based tourism opportunities to all corners of the city by ensuring visitor comfort, improving and diversifying products and experiences, stimulating demand, supporting and involving communities so that they can benefit and planning for growth. Now, cruise and aviation are two vital components of this growth. The ease of travel through direct flights is key to attracting visitors. And that is why it is equally important to get our aviation sector back in the air. By boosting direct flights and expanding current routes, we create more efficient connections between Cape Town and our existing and emerging key source markets. More connections create more jobs and it delivers trade and tourism opportunities. And this is why the city has renewed funding of the successful Cape Town Air Access Initiative. We also fund the Convention Bureau, and together with my team, we engage with key industry partners to secure more meetings, incentive travel, conferences, and event bookings. And through our delegate boosting program, we encourage delegates to stay longer, experience our amazing city, and of course, spend lots of money. Our internationally acclaimed airport is another key feature in our travel and tourism offer and it is the gateway to our city. And I'm very pleased that flights to Cape Town are steadily increasing and just in time for our peak season. Mango, FlySaf Air, Airlink and Chem Air have all resumed domestic flights. And by the end of October, 10 international airlines, including Qatar, Emirates, KLM, BA and Turkish Airlines will be running at least 50 flights per week from various cities direct to Cape Town. We are bouncing back. And last year, I was personally in New York to meet with United Airlines. And again, I'll be playing my part, meet with airlines and stakeholders in key source markets to secure new routes and expansions. Another opportunity to bring visitors to our city is through cruise tourism, which was poised for significant growth pre-COVID. We were expecting roughly 170,000 passengers and 41,000 crew members for the 2020-21 season. But I must say that the future is looking better with great demand. Certain cruise liners are already fully booked for the 2022-23 season. Here in Cape Town, 
We can expect cruises to our city to pick up from next year and to restore to 2019 levels within two years. The construction of a dedicated cruise terminal funded by the v Waterfront has proven to be a worthwhile venture and was showing a massive return on investment, and I'm confident it will do so again. My team and I are in discussions with key stakeholders to further develop and grow this niche market for our city. By getting our sky and sea transport routes back to full operation, we can get our tourism sector and the related industries back to business. So for us to create the demand needed for our tourism ecosystem to propel, we need to remind people of why Cape Town is a destination of choice for travelers. And so a cornerstone of our bounce back strategy is our marketing and communications approach to reimagine and reignite visitor demand and position Cape Town as the premier destination to visit, live, work, study, play, and invest. And our six footer strategy is the blueprint going forward to translate tourism travel dreams into reality, which will mean conversion and bookings for our entire tourism ecosystem, including accommodation, transportation, attractions, restaurants, and other entertainment establishments. Our new international campaign also capitalizes on all we have to offer, from our natural beauty, to being one of the best places for tech startups, to having some of the best educational institutions on the African continent and globally. We really do have it all, and the rest of the world must know it. The teaser video that will start shortly captures that Cape Town really does have it all, no matter what you're looking for. And so with these strategies and campaigns, my hope and mission is to make our tourism sector strong, sustainable, responsible, and inclusive. So, as Doc Brown from Back to the Future once said, your future hasn't been written yet. No one's has. Your future is whatever you make it, so make it a good one. Thank you very much.